Talk to me. You're gonna be a badass. <laughs> Halloween has been my favorite holiday every year consistently merely because it is a holiday where you get to make a costume and run around in it and cause havoc and get drunk and that's like all of those things I like. Uh, we started it last year uh, in 2012 we were going to try to have it ready for Dragon Con. It didn't quite work out, really hurt my little feelings so uh, we ended up throwing it in the closet. I didn't look at it for almost a year until we found out that we were going to San Diego Comic-Con, which we had not been planning on going to. So in preparation for Comic-Con, about a week beforehand, we started working on this thing, we busted it out, uh, and somehow, at the last minute, we got it together. I mean, we were working on it while we were at Comic-Con, like, like every night instead of partying. <laughs> positive. We got it together after uh, a whole lot of drama. So here it is, my cosplay costume that I wore this year at San Diego Comic-Con and at Dragon Con. <laughs> the sign actually says stop remaking classics. But the thing I like about it, the, the thing I like about it the best is that it's made entirely of cardboard. And I only know one or two other artists that work in cardboard this successfully. So this is set a bar in terms of cardboard art, if there is such a thing. <laughs> Great work. Kudos. I want to welcome you all to the 2013 DragonCon Masquerade. I'm in line, waiting to go on stage. Wish me luck. I've been standing up for like two hours because I cannot sit down in this thing. I hope I do good. Here to fight against the ever-growing evil forces of corporate Hollywood reboots and remakes. It's the first, the original, the only RoboCop. Paper and hot glue. With a budget of $117 in Epson ink cartridges. This costume took one month to complete with a two-person team. Cardboard RoboCop is worn by Comic Girl Man. right now I'm just like so shaky and shit like I didn't get it perfect but I think I did okay man it was like really nerve-wracking going after like really badass dragon dude and you like awesome thank and you I've done I was this for 10 years <laughs> you great. thank you so much I was like freaking out man you ready <laughs> best in show contestant number nine and you're like who's that who is that, who is that? Masquerade 
Day costume contest, it was so surprising. We had no expectations going into this thing, like none. We were just like, we just want to show it off because we worked so friggin' hard on it. And like, we just thought it deserved to be in front of an audience. And uh, it was it was so awesome. It was so validating because we've worked so hard on it. And it's just like, oh my God, like it really makes you like, I didn't waste my time. This is amazing. I was right to do this. And it felt, it honestly, it felt like being prom queen, except way cooler. I'll tell you that right now. Cause like everyone's like, oh, congratulations on winning. Like when you're walking around at night, it was so awesome. It was like amazing, so.